Now, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the presentation by the Locust for Industry program, which is hosted by Egerton University, supported by the Science Granting Council, and has got five partners on board, Egerton, five, three universities, uh, one research institution, and a private partner. I would wish to give you a brief about Egerton University. Egerton University is a premier agricultural university that was founded as an agricultural college in 1939 and grew to become a university in 1987. The main campus is hosted in Joro, and currently Egerton has got 12 faculties that houses 51 academic departments, which offer programs run, ranging from diploma to doctorate level. And Egerton has got its strength in agriculture and has acts as a huge hub in Kenya for our agri innovations. Now, the program is a regional program fun, funded by SGSC and it aims to expand the locust based industrial space in East Africa through technology and products development for industry. And each of the partners have given roles that they need to play. Egerton University, as the lead institution, is engaged in coordination, management, and promotion. Makerere handles antibiotic studies. University of Rwanda is involved in locust-based food value addition. Isipe is involved in zoonotic studies. And finally, Sagla Parks handles the locust mass rearing aspect. It is important to read the locust because locust is considered as the livestock of the future. It has got 10 times resource utilization efficiency and a very fast biomass production and with a rich nutrition level up to 62% protein and is considered a source of industrial products for antibiotics, food, feed, and tourism. Now, the roof pack technology developed by the Sagla Parks mirrors uh, the traditional granary and uses a modified grass tight roof which is suspended and the suspension is meant to reduce predation and theft, we are able to come up with a prototype with a volume of 18 meters cubed. Now, the roof pack technology is very important because it ends up with a fast nymphal development, which ranges from 16 to 19 days, the fastest being on beans and the lowest being on sorghum. The technology also has lower greenhouse gas emission of about 100 grams per kilogram mass gain compared to 2,800 grams for cattle. The main uses of locust is being a rich source of raw material for the pharmaceutical industry. The chitosan is very useful for preservation of our harvested fruits. It's also very useful in maintenance of quality of crops. And the chitosan that comes from the locust has got high solubility and also there is high yield of the chitosan of about 11%. The locust is also very useful for locust-based food recipes and bakery goods you can come up with as many products as possible ranging from fries to cookies and the locust oil can be used for part of the bakery process and the locust can give you up to four percent oil yield as an additional product over and above the protein which is the main focus locust can also be very uh, good source of entomotourism and at sagla parks it is possible to use the facility for teaching research and value addition on locust you can also go for sightseeing, especially for those people who like tourism. And during your visits, you'll be able to enjoy locust best cuisines. Now, some of the challenges that we faced and we continue to face, one is convincing or attracting investors for commercial uptake of the roofback technology and the locust based products. And especially those products that target antibiotic food and feeds and we are also keen to see investors put up local manufacturing uh, facilities. Now, prototyping is resource intensive. We also face the constraint of having fi sufficient financial resources that is required to optimize the technology and the pro development of products. Also, the other challenge that, and need, that needs to be addressed from a scientific point of view is understanding the locust biology and genetic studies. Consumer acceptance and education of potential consumers is very critical. And finally, the perception of the locust as a pest. Now, I would wish to acknowledge all the partners who have participated and continue to participate in this locust for industry program. I would want to acknowledge in a special way the Science Granting Council for supporting this initiative. And finally, the KTN UK for hosting us today in this event.
Thank you.